Pepper, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog and Freddy Fox are dressing up to play a game. I'm going to be a brave knight. I'm going to be a wizard. I'm going to be a footballer. Hooray! Hooray! Now we can go on an adventure. <laughs> Pepper is imagining George is a goblin. Let's pretend we have to rescue Teddy from that goblin. <gasps> yes! That's George, Pepper. We're just <laughs> pretending, Freddy. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's the goblin and Teddy. <laughs> Daddy Pig is fast asleep. Let's pretend Daddy is a sleeping dragon. Shh! And let's pretend the living room is a cave. Ooh. <laughs> Follow me. We have to be quiet so we don't wake the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I must have dozed off. Now we have to save Teddy from that big castle. We'll use magic to rescue Teddy. And I'll use my football. Hello, little goblin. We're here to rescue Teddy. George doesn't want to be a goblin. Oh, do you want to help us rescue Teddy instead? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but if George isn't a goblin, then who has Teddy? Dinosaur! Now everyone is pretending that the dinosaur has Teddy. <laughs> Teddy has been rescued by the witch, the wizard, the brave knight, a footballer and George, who is not a goblin. Peppa and her friends are at the cinema. They've just watched a film called Vegetables in Space 2. Don't worry, Pedro, I'll save you. Everyone enjoyed the film so much, they're pretending they are in it. Vegetables in space at my house. Yes, yes, yes please. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is very excited to get dressed up for the game. Pedro Pony is an astronaut. Oh, yeah. Susie Sheep is a robot. Gerald oh. Giraffe is an alien. And Pepper oh. is a space hero. Let's go outside and pretend we're on the moon. Hooray! <laughs> Follow me! Pew, pew! Peppa and her friends are imagining they're on the moon. Just like in the film. Everyone has lots of fun pretending to float on the moon. Woohoo! Oh! Oh, good idea, Gerald. We can use the rocket cars to drive around. <laughs> oh dear, oh. there aren't enough rocket cars for everyone. Do you want to ride on my car, Susie? Buzz, buzz. Susie is pretending her boots are rocket boots. Now everyone has a fun way to explore the moon. Beep, beep. Hooray! Um, what are we looking for on the moon? Beep, 
The only thing on the moon is the moon beep bubble. The moon is made of cheese. So maybe we can find some for lunch. Of course. <laughs> what was that? Was it a moon monster? No, Peppa. I am <gasps> your daddy. And I've brought you all some cheese sandwiches for lunch. Everyone loves pretending to play on the moon, but everyone loves lunchtime even more. Four tickets, please. Four popcorns, please. Four drinks, please. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family are at the cinema. Peppa's favourite book has been made into a movie. <laughs> Silly George, we're not seeing that scary ghost movie. Ours is really fun and not scary. Scary ghost movies are only for grown-ups. Uh, oh, excuse me. Excuse Sorry. Me. Oh, uh, oh. Sorry. <sighs> <sighs> the seats in the cinema all fold up when they're not being used. But George's seat is folding up when he's sitting in it. Excuse me. Coming through. Watch your toes. Luckily, Miss Rabbit has a special booster to hold the seat flat. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Rabbit. No problem. Me again. <gasps> Who spilled popcorn? <laughs> George doesn't like it when the cinema gets dark. Whish, whish. Yay, it's starting. <gasps> <laughs> George doesn't like the loud sounds either. <gasps> it's the baddie. Yeah, me. Oh dear. George thinks the baddie in the movie is a bit scary. Maybe we should take George outside. But you can't miss the movie. Oh. Pepper has thought of a way to make the baddie less scary for George. Hello, George. It's me. I'm just pretending to be a buddy for the movie. I'm not really scary. Not scary? No. And this magic wand oh. will keep you extra safe. Wish! <laughs> Wish! <laughs> Plus... At the end of the story, everyone lives happily ever after. Ooh, happy! <laughs> Whoosh! <gasps> Sorry. Everyone loves going to the cinema, and George really loves movies with happy endings. Peppa Pig and her friends are at the aquarium today. They're all pretending to be fish. Meow, what's that? This is an octopus. It has eight long wibbly wobbly legs. Ooh. Actually, an octopus only has two wibbly wobbly legs. The other six are wibbly wobbly arms. Rip wobb, rip Wow! I wish I had a rainbow tail. <gasps> Let's be mermaids, Susie. <laughs> but we don't have mermaid tails. But we can pretend! <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! Peppa Whee! and Susie are pretending they are mermaids with long, lovely tails. Hello, seahorses. We can swim around just like you. <laughs> Whee! Whee! <laughs> <gasps> it's so pretty. What is it? This 
this is an oyster. It has a pearl inside. <gasps> a pearl? What's a pearl? It's a very lovely shiny object. Can we open it and see it? An oyster only opens when it's ready, so we'll just have to be patient. Hmm. I can't see the pearl. Excuse me, Mr Oyster. Can you open, please? We're being really patient. <laughs> Can you go, ah, like at the dentist? Hmm. Um. Boom! <gasps> <laughs> oh, it's not working. <gasps> it's so jiggly. <laughs> Let's tickle it open. Mermaid Pepper and Mermaid Susie are trying to tickle the oyster so it'll open. They tickle and tickle and tickle, but the oyster still won't open. It's not working. We'll never see the pearl. We'll just have to wait. <gasps> <gasps> it's the pearl! It's so pretty. <laughs> the oyster has finally opened. The pearl inside is very lovely indeed. Aww. Rip, wob, rip, wob. But I want to see the pearl. Can we make it open, please? <laughs> no, Danny. Oh. We have to be patient. Everyone knows that being patient can be tricky, but Peppa and Susie know that the very lovely pearl will be worth the wait. Hooray! Hooray! Yay! The treasure train is on its way. Choo-choo! <laughs> Yay! Peppa Pig and Danny Dog are driving a train full of gold, silver and... Broccoli! <laughs> Is broccoli treasure? Yes. It's special broccoli made of sparkly diamonds. Peppa and Danny aren't really driving a train. They're using their imagination to pretend. <gasps> oh no! Pedro Pony and Susie Sheep are pretending to be train robbers. Can we have all your treasure, please? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're supposed to steal the treasure, Susie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Now, Peppa and Danny are pretending to be police officers. They're going to catch the robbers. Oh. Hey. You caught us. No, we didn't. Because, um... Ha! Your mm. boat can fly. Whoa. Um, Madam Gazelle, can ships fly? Real ships cannot fly. Oh. But pretend ships... Certainly can. Hooray! Wow! Now Pedro and Susie are in a flying boat. Oh, um. <gasps> Our train can fly too. Whee! Hey! <laughs> uh oh! <laughs> hey! Police officers Pepper and Danny have almost caught the robbers. <gasps> oh, I'm done. Oh. Daddy Pig! And he's coming to take you home! <laughs> Charge! Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, Peppa? We're pretending to fly our boats and trains, Daddy! <laughs> oh my! What an imaginative bunch you all are! Oh! Aha! Peppa loves imagining things! Everyone loves imagining things! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Today, Peppa and George are playing in the sandpit. <laughs> Peppa is playing with toy cars. She has a fire engine, an ambulance, a digger and... George, where's the police car? The police car is lost in the sand. Where did you put it, George? Police car? <laughs> it's OK. We'll find it together. It'll be... Aha! An adventure! Adventure! Peppa and George are pretending they are in a big sandy <laughs> desert. Let's take the fire engine. <laughs> Whee! Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Peppa and George are using the fire engine to search the sand. A drink. Whee! Lucky the hose is full of orange juice. <laughs> Peppa and George love orange juice. <sighs> Come on, we still need to find the police car. Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> Over there. That sounds like. <gasps> Please, car! I told you we'd find it! Yay! Thank <laughs> you! Now we just have to dig it out! <gasps> beep, 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 beep! <laughs> uh, this is going to take forever! Aha! Where are you going, George? <laughs> you turned into a giant! <laughs> Peppa and George have found the police car. Nino, Nino, Is George? Um, hmm. But it looks like they'll have to go on another adventure <laughs> to find the digger. <laughs> Today, Peppa and George are playing grown ups. Oh gosh, oh gosh, where is my bag and my hat? We're off to work now, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and what job do you think you'd enjoy when you're grown up? Dinosaur! George <laughs> wants to be a dinosaur. Hmm, I think I would enjoy being a dentist. Then I will make sure everyone's teeth are nice and healthy. Hmm, interesting. Uh, uh... Uh, uh, hang, all right. You've got lots of clean teeth, Mummy. Oh. Here's a sticker for being so brave. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Who's next? <gasps> <laughs> Silly George. Dinosaurs don't go to the dentist. <laughs> They go to Dr. Hamster the Vet. Wow. But you can have a sticker anyway. Wow. I think you'd make a very good dentist. Dinosaur! Wow. <laughs> and you'd be an excellent dinosaur, George. But I'd also like to be a bus driver. Then I could take all my friends to the park. Tickets, please. Next stop, <laughs> the park. Stop! <gasps> you forgot us. Come back. <laughs> vroom. Vroom. <laughs> <laughs> you have to stop at all the bus stops if you want to be a bus driver, Peppa. Oops, <gasps> sorry. 
<laughs> I think you'd be a brilliant bus driver, Peppa. But I don't just want to be a dentist and a bus driver. I also want to be a teacher. Oh. <laughs> then I'll teach everybody how to paint. You can paint a butterfly using handprints like this. <gasps> <laughs> Dinosaurs don't go to school, George. Perhaps you could open a school for dinosaurs. But when I'm grown up, I also want to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> and George will be a dinosaur. And they will always love jumping in muddy puddles, <laughs> even when they are grown up or dinosaurs. Today, Peppa is playing with her toy blocks. <gasps> Oop! Careful, George. This is a very small town and you're a very giant dinosaur. That gives me an idea. Do you want to play giants, George? <laughs> George is very excited to play giants with Peppa. Hello, Police Officer Panda. What a lovely, quiet, normal day in Toyland. <laughs> and definitely no sign of... <gasps> Hello, I am Giant Peppa. <gasps> a giant! Two giants! <laughs> Peppa and George are imagining their giants in a pretend <laughs> toy block world. Hello, birds. Hello, clouds. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <gasps> <gasps> Our ball is stuck in that very tall tree. We can help you with that. We are very tall giants. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> oh, careful, George. <laughs> there you go, Susie. <laughs> Hooray! Giant Pepper and Giant George <laughs> love to help their friends in Thailand. <gasps> They help the passengers Whee! to get on the bus. Oh, wee! <laughs> wee! Wee! <laughs> and help the boats go very, very fast. <laughs> Stop! <gasps> it's the bridge you broke earlier. Oh. Don't worry. We can fix it. <laughs> Peppa and George are experts with toy blocks. They fix the toy bridge in no time at all. Thanks, Giant Peppa and Giant George. Stop! Uh, I mean, go! Hooray! 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 Oh, goody! Yay! Hungry. I'm hungry too. The food in Toyland is too small for Giant Pepper and Giant George. Whoa! Dinner time! Hooray! So they will have to have real food <gasps> instead. Careful, George! <laughs> Today, Mummy and Pepper have brought George Yay! to the doctor's for a checkup. <laughs> Hello, I'm Dr. Pepper Pig. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Pepper Pig. I'm Nurse Miss Rabbit. And this is Dr. Brown Bear. Ready for your checkup, George? No! George <gasps> has never been to the doctors before. He is a little nervous. Don't worry, George. The doctors just want to make sure you feel good. Exactly. Come on in, and don't forget your little red book. <laughs> First, Miss Rabbit and Dr Brown Bear need to check George's height. <gasps> Step this way, please, George. No! But George isn't sure he'll like the height measurer. How tall am I, Miss Rabbit? 
Wow! You're getting very tall, Peppa. You'll be a big grown-up soon. <laughs> George wants to know if he is very tall too. Wow, you're so big and tall, George. <laughs> now it's time to check George's weight with a special machine called scales. This machine will tell us how much you weigh, George. And it's really good for bouncing. <laughs> George loves bouncing. <laughs> and freeze. <gasps> mm -hmm. And unfreeze. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to listen to George's heart with a special tool called a oh. stethoscope. Oh. Mm. This might be a little cold. <laughs> the stethoscope is very cold. Oh. Try this, George. You can listen to my heartbeat too. George likes listening to Peppa's heart. <laughs> Yay! You did very well today, George. So you get a sticker. Oh. Daddy, <gasps> oh. <laughs> And one for Dr. Peppa Pig for being so helpful too. Hooray! <laughs> Today, Peppa's playgroup are performing a play. Ahem. Once upon a time, there was a big, tall tower with a princess oh. locked up inside. Oh no! I am trapped! Somebody help me! It's Rapunzel! My favourite fairy tale! The princess was locked up by an Evil witch. I want to be a sunflower instead, please. <laughs> okay. The princess was locked up by an oh. evil sunflower. Oh. The playgroup has changed the fairy tale a little bit. Princess, let down your hair, please. Ha 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 ha! Uh oh. Gerald Giraffe has forgotten to put on his princess wig. Will keep you locked up forever! Ha ha! <gasps> oh no! If only there was a hero to save me! I said, if only there was a hero to save me! Whoop! I'll save the princess! Nido! 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 got stuck in an evil web. <gasps> um, but luckily a fairy's here to rescue him. Can I borrow this? Oh. Whoosh! <laughs> Whoosh! Uh -huh. Now the hero is... Oh! Whoops! <laughs> Sorry. Carry on! Ahem! Uh now the hero is free! Thank you, Fairy Pepper! But what about the evil sunflower? <laughs> oh! oh, um, the fairy turned the evil sunflower into a teddy! <gasps> <Z> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> go to the pool and eat this apple. Huh? Like Snow White? Now you can go to the pool and jump in all the muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> and they live happily ever after. Peppa and her friends love putting on plays and Madame Gazelle really loves watching them. <laughs> <laughs>
Today, Peppa and her family are going on the night train to a very far away seaside. It's bedtime now. We can play with the beach ball tomorrow at the beach. But I don't want to go to sleep. Well, we're not going to sleep yet. We're having a sleepover. Yay! Yay! Peppa and George <laughs> love sleepovers. Can we have a midnight feast? You need to have a midnight feast at a sleepover, Daddy. It's the rules. Right you are. Follow me. Hooray! <laughs> Everyone has come to the dining carriage to get the midnight feast. Hello. Oh. Hello. What would you like? We'd like a midnight feast, please. One. <gasps> midnight feast coming up. Here you go. Fruit and warm milk. Perfect before a good sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Everyone tucks into their midnight feast, gives their teeth a good brush, and gets comfy in bed. Can we have a bedtime story? Oh, okay, Peppa. Just one story, and then sleep. Hooray! This is the story of the magic night train. Ooh! Once upon a time, there was a magic night train which didn't need train tracks because it could fly. <gasps> Yay! Peppa had a wonderful dream about a magical night train. Look, we arrived at the seaside. Peppa and her family have arrived at the very far away seaside, and they all enjoyed their train sleepover. Whee! It is bedtime, Whee! but George isn't sleeping, so neither are Peppa or Daddy Pig. What now? We've already read every bedtime story. There is one book we haven't read. I've been saving it for an emergency. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep? Yes, the very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. Oh! <laughs> story! Once upon a time, there was a hero named... Super Peppa! <laughs> um, yes, Super Peppa. Whee! She spent all her days helping the people in her neighborhood. <laughs> Until one day she heard about a jumping giant who wouldn't stop shaking the town. The giant won't stop jumping. I'll help you. Super Pepper found the jumping <laughs> giant. Dinosaur. Oh, yes, George, the jumping dinosaur. Super Pepper tried everything she could to stop the jumping dinosaur from jumping. Like asking him very 
very politely. Yes. <laughs> uh, excuse me. <laughs> Mr. Dinosaur, sir. <laughs> excuse me. They tried some bedtime music. This will put him to sleep. <sighs> so relaxing. But the music only gave the dinosaur more energy. Super Pepper tried giving the jumping dinosaur a warm bath. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> she tried giving him cozy pajamas. <laughs> she even tried counting stars. One, two, three, four, five! That's everything we did. There's nothing left to try. <sighs> The bedtime story has helped George fall asleep. Hooray! Thank you for your help, Peppa. Sweet dreams. Thank you, Daddy Bert. Now I'm not tired. Can you finish the story? Hey! Hi! Whoops! <laughs> sorry, everyone. Today, Pepper and Mummy Pig have come to Miss Rabbit's yoga class. Namaste, everyone! Uh... Namaste oh. is how you say hello in a yoga class. Please take off your shoes and find a mat. Does anyone know what yoga is? Is it where you balance on one leg? Or when you bend into funny shapes? Almost. Yoga is a fun kind of exercise that helps you feel zen. Hmm. Which means relaxed. Oh. oh, we'd like to be zen. Please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's start with some breathing. Everyone close your eyes and breathe in slowly through your nose. One, two, three. And out through your mouths. One, two, three. Everyone is finding breathing One, two, very relaxing. Three. But and Emily and out. her mummy's trunks One, two, are making little three. whistle sounds. <laughs> now let's do some stretching. Reach up high into the sky. <laughs> and bend down and touch your toes. <laughs> Peppa, Danny and Emily are all very good at stretching. But the grown-ups are finding it a little trickier. You're very good at yoga, Mr Bull. I've had lots of practice. And relax. <sighs> Everyone lay down on your front, then lift your chest up. This is called... Cobra pose. Oh. Is this right? That's perfect. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't need to do the sounds. Now place your hands and feet on the ground and your hips up as high as you can, like this. This oh. is called downward oh. dog. <laughs> That's perfect, Danny. You're a natural. <laughs> Finally, everyone stand up straight. Put your hands together and lift one leg to the other leg. This is called tree pose. Peppa loves all the poses. <laughs> but balancing is quite hard. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Rabbit. My tree was a bit wobbly. No need to apologise, Peppa. Yoga is to help feel relaxed and zen. And nothing is more relaxing than a good giggle. Peppa loves yoga class. And Peppa really loves love. Hello, everyone. I'm Peppa, the dentist. I'll help you look after your teeth. Whoa! Today, Miss Rabbit has come to teach Peppa's playgroup about teeth. Peppa is pretending she is a dentist. <laughs> Got you. For you. Thank you, Peppa. Well, now that you've caught your teeth, <coughs> who knows what we can do to look after them? Um, um, go to the dentist? 
That's right. Who has been to the dentist before? Me, 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 me. me. Gerald Giraffe has not been to the dentist before. Can I show Gerald what it's like at the dentist, Miss Rabbit? I've been lots of times. What a great idea. <laughs> Pepper is pretending she is the dentist and Gerald is the patient. Hello, Mr. Gerald. Please sit on this enormous chair. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Dentist. Here is your apron. <laughs> <gasps> Why do I need glasses, Mrs. Pepper? For this big light. Please open wide, like this. Ah! Uh, so I can see your teeth. Ah! Uh. Peppa is using the torch to see Gerald's teeth. You have very nice teeth, Mr Gerald. So you get a sticker. Thank you! <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! Well done, Peppa and Gerald. <laughs> Does anyone know a way we can look after our teeth at home? <gasps> Our teeth. That's right, Susie. Brushing our teeth keeps them clean. Shall we practice brushing our teeth? Yes! Miss Rabbit is giving everyone toothbrushes so they can practice brushing their teeth. First, we get the brush wet. <laughs> <laughs> then we put some toothpaste on. Everyone is adding little dollops of toothpaste to their toothbrush. But Candy has added a big dollop. Now what do we do, class? We... Brush! <laughs> Remember to brush the front and the side. Top and bottom. Well done, everyone. <laughs> everyone did very well today, so everyone gets stickers. <gasps> Peppa likes pretending to be a dentist, and Peppa really likes stickers. <laughs> oh. oh. Aha! Uh -huh. There's one! Hooray! <gasps> Today, Peppa and her family have come to the shopping centre. Oh. Perhaps we'll get out here. I'll park up and find you soon. <laughs> if I can find a space. They've come to the toy shop to find a gift for baby Alexander. There's so many toys! <laughs> Yay! Now what do we think baby Alexander will like? Hmm. <gasps> Maybe this basketball. Or this blaster. Pop, pop. <laughs> or this karaoke machine. <laughs> karaoke! <laughs> <laughs> These are very fun, but I'm not sure they're right for a baby. Then we'll have to keep looking. <laughs> 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 Daddy Pig has finally found a space in the car park. Ah. Oh dear. But the parking space is so small, he can't get out of the car. I'll just have to go around again. Whee! Whee! <laughs> what have you found, George? It's like the car park we were in. Car park! <laughs> George loves the toy car park. Baby Alexander does like cars, but I think he is too <laughs> young for this toy. Oh! What about this ball, George? No! Up! 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 <laughs> or maybe this cuddly teddy? No! Whee! George doesn't think any of these toys are right for Baby Alexander. <laughs> what about this noisy rattle? <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. George only <gasps> likes the toy car park. Hmm. <laughs> Look at this, George. No! 
<laughs> for you. What a perfect gift for baby Alexander. We'll take it, please, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> I wonder where Daddy Pig parked. Whee! Hello, everyone. <laughs> everyone loves going toy shopping. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but Daddy and George really love the car park. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and Susie are pretending to be police officers. Nino, nee. Police, we'll help yeah. you. <laughs> Thanks, police officers. You're welcome. Now we must get back to solving crimes. Nino, Bye. Nino. Oh, my. What is it, Madam Gazelle? I think my special pen has gone missing. <gasps> This sounds like a mystery. Oh. Don't worry. Me and police officer Susie will solve the case. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are looking for clues to uh -huh. find the special <laughs> pen. They're using a magnifying glass to make small things look bigger. Aha! Purple. That's the oh. same colour oh. as Danny oh. Dog's T-shirt. <gasps> Have you seen oh. the special pen, Danny? I don't think so. Well, we'd better take you to the police station to ask you some questions. Peppa and Susie have made a pretend police station so they can ask everyone questions about the missing pen. <laughs> It's made from books and pillows. This police station doesn't even have doors. It's a nice place to read, though. Peppa and Susie are asking everybody about the special pen. Oh. They've brought Candy Cat to the pretend police station. Candy Cat, can you remember what colour the special pen is? Hmm, red? No, green. Actually, pink. No, uh, blue! Aha! Uh -huh. You've been very helpful. Let's take a big look around. The special blue pen must be <gasps> hidden somewhere. Pepper and Susie are searching everywhere for the special pen. Ah! Oh, but they can't find it anywhere. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. Hmm. I have an idea. Now, Madam Gazelle is answering questions at the pretend police station. When did you last see your pen, Madam Gazelle? Well, let's see. I used it this morning, then I put it behind my ear. Oh, my! Yay! Madam Gazelle's special <laughs> pen has been behind her ear all along. We found it! <laughs> we solved the mystery! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and Susie. I think you would make very good police <gasps> officers. <laughs> Peppa and Rebecca Rabbit are making a pillow fort today. Careful, don't fall on the fort. Almost got it. Whoa. Squeak. We did it. Now we need to decorate the inside. Uh, hmm, something else is missing. Oh, oh something, something to eat! eat. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy! What a beautiful pillow fort! Can we have something to eat, please? Of course! I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Let's pretend the pillow fort is really big inside. Wow! <laughs> Catch, Peppa! <laughs> Let's pretend the floor is really bouncy, like a trampoline. Squeak! <laughs> it's so bouncy! <laughs> The ball bounced over there. 
Let's bounce after it. Uh, uh. This floor is green, so let's pretend it's squelchy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But the ball isn't here. Maybe over there. <laughs> <laughs> this room is blue. So let's pretend it's cold. <laughs> There's the ball. Hooray! L let's get out of here. Um... Which way did we come in? Peppa, where are you? We're lost in the pillow fort. I'll come get you. No, Mummy. The fort isn't built for grown-ups. Oh, I can fit through anything. <sighs> Mummy Pig is stuck. Oh. <sighs> Mummy, your wiggles are breaking the fort. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Phew. Ooh. All that pretending has made me even more hungry. Good thing I brought you some food. Now, we just need to find it under these pillows. <laughs> 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 King Pepper. It's another day at Playgroup, <laughs> and everyone is pretending Pepper is the king. I'm the king, and I say everyone should eat lots of yummy food. <laughs> of course, Your Majesty. Hooray! <laughs> king Pepper is enjoying oh. being king of the Playgroup. She really likes <gasps> all the yummy food. I've brought you some raisins, <gasps> Mrs. King. Mm. Oh, thank you, Candy. I love raisins. Mmm. But I am getting very full. Um, can I be the king for a while if you're full, King Pepper? Good idea. Here you go, King Pedro. Oh. Now, Pedro Pony <laughs> is the king of the playgroup. I say everyone has to. To hop. Hmm. Why, Mr. Highness? Because hopping is fun. <laughs> King Pedro is right. Hopping is fun. <laughs> Very good hopping, Danny. Well, thank you, King Pedro. Hop, hop. <laughs> King Pedro, you said everyone should hop. That means you should too. Oh, that's right. Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> Would you like to be the king now, Candy? <gasps> Meow. Yes, please. Hop, hop. <laughs> now Candy is the king. <laughs> oh, I say everyone has to be really quiet. <laughs> now everyone has to be loud. <laughs> now quiet. <laughs> now loud. Everyone is enjoying King Candy and. King Danny's rules very much. Quiet! <laughs> now! <laughs> Quiet! <laughs> oh. Now George is the king. King George says that everyone should dinosaur. Everyone loves being king of the playgroup, but everyone loves being dinosaurs even. Today, Peppa and George are helping Daddy Pig tidy some old boxes. <laughs> What's this, Daddy? Ah, that's my trusty old camera, Peppa. You press the button to take a picture. Cheese. 
and it prints the photo out. Look, I can see it. Can I have a go, please? <laughs> Say cheese. Cheese. Now Peppa is taking photos with the camera. This camera is really fun. Camera! <laughs> have fun! But there isn't much photo paper left, so use it wisely. George loves taking lots of photos. <laughs> oh dear, it's run out of photo paper. Oh, but I love taking pictures. Hmm. Why don't we use my phone's camera instead? It can even add filters to a photo. <laughs> Daddy Pig's phone camera has given George a pretend moustache. <laughs> Come on, George. Let's take more photos. Peppa and George are having lots of fun taking pictures. The phone camera has given Mummy Pig a flowery filter. Say cheese. Oh. And Grandpa Pig has a very fine hat. <laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig have come to the park to take even more photos. <laughs> Hello, Mr and Mrs Bird. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. Cheese! Whoa. 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 <laughs> what a funny photo! Daddy Pig wants to take a photo with Pepper and George <laughs> by the ducks. Say cheese, everybody! <laughs> One, two, three, cheese! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are sticking all the photos from the day into a scrapbook. Look at this one, George. But some of the photos are blurry. Oh. The photos don't have to be perfect. They just have to remind you of a lovely day. Everyone loves taking photos. And everyone has had a very lovely day. Whoopsie. Today, it is show and tell at Peppa's playgroup. <laughs> Keep practicing, Peppa. You'll get the hang of it soon. Thank you, Susie. You make a wonderful starfish. <laughs> now it is Peppa's turn. I am the amazing Mysterio. And I am the amazing Peppa O. <laughs> and we are going to show you some really <laughs> magical magic. <laughs> Ah! Amazing Mr. O, please pass me my top hat. Um, you're wearing it, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> now I will pull a toy rabbit out of it. <laughs> the toy rabbit is still on Peppa's head. Abracadabra biddly bop. <gasps> I can't find the toy rabbit. <gasps> oh, there it is. Ta-da! <laughs> Time for my next trick. Would you like some flowers, Madam Gazelle? I would love some, Peppa. For her next trick, Peppa is going to make some flowers appear. Abracadabra biddly boy. Abracadabra biddly boing! Ho, 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 ho! That does tickle! Why don't you try the magic ring trick, Peppa? I mean, amazing Peppa, oh! Good idea, Daddy. Uh, I mean, amazing Mysterio. Peppa is going to make the two rings join together with magic. Abracadabra biddly bob. It is quite hard to magically join the rings together <gasps> and a bit messy. I don't think I'm very good at magic, Daddy. 
Yes, you are. You're the amazing Pepper O. You can do it, Pepper. <laughs> okay, Daddy. <laughs> Abracadabra, biddly bang. Marvelous magic show! Well done, Peppa. You are a true magician. Thank you. And for our last trick, we will disappear. Bye bye. <gasps> Peppa loves magic tricks. Everyone loves magic tricks. <laughs>